Do you have like a favorite quote or piece that you've shared on your platform? I'm curious. Oh, I do. Okay, what is it? Oh, this one I love so much. This one took me a while to realize. Everything you want for your life requires you to walk with self-doubt by your side. The ability to walk through our fears is not signaled by an absence of doubt, but an ability to walk forward regardless of its presence. Mm, Love it. For me, self-doubt was this like cement wall that I always sort of like had in front of me that like I believed so much that I didn't allow myself to put myself in rooms that I knew I wanted to be in or show up in life the way that I really wanted to be because I, there was this constant like veil of self-doubt over top of me that was like keeping me being like, you're not good enough or it's, you're going to look silly when you're doing this and just like realizing oh, that's perfectly normal. Like we all experience this. And the more that I take action, regardless of whether those thoughts are there, the quieter they become and they end up being sort of just like a natural part of life. And we take away the power we've given them because it's just natural. Like every thought we have, we believe. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's true. It's (laughs) like, no, your, your thoughts are observations. If I tell you to think about a purple elephant, Like, what are you thinking about right now? You know, so it's not that the purple elephant is real. It's just like your mind is just like constantly this free flowing river of like your observations and self-doubt is just an untrue observation. So that's been a massive shift in my own life. And I think something that really resonates on modern mind when they speak about it, because It's such a human experience. And again, like all these things, we're like gatekeepers. Like We walk across so many people in the street every single day that are sitting there. Their minds are going crazy. They're thinking about, oh, I wish I didn't say that to my girlfriend this morning. Or what am I going to eat for lunch today? Or like, I look like stupid in these pants, you know? (laughs) We all have this like constant streaming dialogue. And I think that we feel alone when we experience self-doubt. We think it's, oh, it's just me. I'm the one that can't be helped. I'm the one that's not good enough. Everyone else is capable and worthy. No, we all have it. It's perfectly normal. It's just a matter of allowing yourself and giving yourself permission to act, even if your actions are in conflict with your thoughts. And I think that's such a powerful distinction because then you're free of your mind and you're own captain at that point it's like the captain that's like kind of taken off I am the captain now (laughs) right right like realizing you don't have to operate everything just based on your thoughts because your thoughts are like they're a mess right like you can act despite your thought like it, it could literally conflict your thought but you can still take the action and be more powerful than that thought and that it's such a weird concept. Like it's, and <laughs> it took me so long to realize. That. I think I, I remember I wrote about this in the book. Actually, I had just broken up with a boyfriend when I was much younger, and I was like driving in my car and I was crying, and I was listening to this podcast, and it was with Oprah and Eckhart Tolle. And for like people that don't know Eckhart, he's like so zen. The ego, yeah. <laughs> yes, so zen. I'm like, how does this man exist? Right? He is like. <laughs> He's like the Buddha. On I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. But in the podcast, and like, it just pitched me like crying, like oh, holding the wheel. And he's like, "You are not your thoughts. Like, you are separate to your thoughts." And I'm like, "What? No way!" <laughs> <laughs> and I had this moment of just being like, "Is that true? Like, is that possible?" And that sort of started my journey on that. Of oh, I can think something, and that thought doesn't necessarily mean that that's true. Even though it feels true, I can leave room to have another experience. 